Last Minute Summer Update Suggestions Part 1. So, we're going to be doing some more suggestions, like I just said, um, for the Summer Update. Really close to hopefully when it's going to be coming out, probably next weekend. So, the first one we've got, um, that I think is good. GMT 400 Trucks to Civilian, also Classic Cars of PD, Sheriff and FD, along with 400s. I think Classic Cars have been suggested quite a few times for those teams. Um, um, I do think it'd be pretty cool. So, yeah, let's do I don't know about fire, but definitely a couple on the police team. Some of them would really, it would really would work. Even if you rank them high, it made like a part of a game pass. I think that'd be really cool. Then, I did see it here. Uh, replace this text with the team name. Isn't that... Oh, like, it. if you have a custom team name, I suppose they probably should do that. Yeah. Um... What else we got here? I'm trying to find ones we haven't done before. Oh, there's a picture from a game that I have. Parking ticket update. In this update, parking meters and parking tickets will be added to the game. AI vehicles and players can get ticketed for not paying the meter or parking invalidly. Meter parking would be parking on the road, parking garage, and any parking lot that is not for business. Violations. Expired parking meter. Too close to crosswalk. Blocking fire hydrant on, on curb. Too far into road. Wrong, di wrong direction. Handicap parking zone, bus taxi zone, no parking zone, etc. They've literally just copied what they say. I have this game, it's a very good game. It's called Police Simulator Patrol Officer. It's really good. Parking Enforcement. This could be its own police division with its own uniform with reflective vest and its own livery on slower cars. Paying. Civilians who are ticketed can pay their parking ticket either at the police station or sheriff station or at a kiosk in LEO parking lots. Really like this idea and I'd love to see a system like that implemented to ERC. Um, pop-ups. Fix the paycheck bubble because it's sometimes annoying, like when on chasers. I wouldn't say so. Uh, the pursuit message. Mostly fix that. Yes, that one. The pursuit message definitely needs fixing. Pop-up can be much smaller, just sharing less information about the car, like just the colour because it's that easy to recognise instead of having to know specific models of cars, trucks. To be honest with you, I don't think they need to add it. I think you should be able to pit a vehicle if you're going high speed behind it anyway, and I feel like that is a very pointless pop-up. Pop up. I didn't really say, sorry, I didn't say that very loudly there. Um, update after summer update. River City Station 2 to be Springfield Volunteer Fire Department. That's civilian job since volunteer. Ignore Photoshop. On 10 year old laptop. Okay. Personal vehicles you spawn while on this team will have lights and sirens like most volunteer firefighters. Put out their vehicles and get to spawn fire trucks at the same time while having your personal vehicle out. So if you heard some background noise there, I think I've fixed that now. Um, so I'm very sorry about that. Uh, right. Only three minutes in, so it should be the rest of the video all nice. Uh, suggestion. Beach, boats, bikes, civilian, fisherman job, NPC rescue mission. Really like those. Um, bikes probably won't be coming anytime soon. Beach could be quite possible. A fisherman job definitely uh, would be possible. And hopefully an NPC rescue mission wouldn't be too hard. Add more classic cars to the game pass because right now it looks weak. True, they definitely need to add some um, classic cars. Uh, more classic cars and definitely add them to the police team. Uh, and also add that you do different deliveries with the idea. I'm assuming that's... Just update the summer update. I think everyone should be starting that one. The ability to add keybinds for these animation. Definitely do that. Really good. I didn't know Hando gonna add a keybind actually. Rolls Royce. I mean as a British person, I take a Rolls Royce any day. Uh River City Glass and Windows. Based off River City Glass in Millard and Nebraska. Okay, why would we do that though? Like I suppose that'd be kind of boring. I don't know if anyone would use that team. Police bikes. They didn't actually have any text there, and also like a. I've actually heard this. Now I personally hadn't thought of anything like a um helicopter for the fire team, but thinking about it, maybe we have a game pass only, like or like top rank. But I actually really like the idea of having one of these because they were on police, and it's definitely possible. Um and yeah, I yeah I think you got the idea. I really like it. And then motorbikes. They look very, very cool, and I'd take them any day. Give cops more money for paycheck. Six arrests should make more than that. True, true. Uh, someone wants a uniform design channel. 
Add a feature so that if you hold M, your mouse cursor frees up, allowing you to interact with UI in first person. Okay, yeah, I like that idea, actually. Add old fire drugs to the game in all time. Sure, that sounds pretty cool. Holding a gun or with free, ha th free hands, we should can crouch all around. Um, okay. Oh, we got a very big gun up here. Fire department update. Revamp the engine, add tower truck, add tiller, new rescue, new tanker. Oh my god, they want a lot. Custom liveries, not just colour changes. I don't think actually that... Mm, I think they'd be quite hard to design because of the shape of the vehicles and stuff. DOT update. Trailer arrow board. That's a cool one. Custom liveries uh, for DOT. Yes, I think we could add that. New tools for road work job. Bucket truck for a power line job. Ex excavator paver and dump truck to be uh, to be trucks for road repair jobs. Civilian jobs. Rick and John's. Yep. Yeah. Definitely at a trucking job. Must deliver goods to stores around the map. Yeah, okay, I like that idea. Please update K9 Game Pass 150. You get a custom delivery for certain vehicles and a dog to spawn. Um, it's different actually. It's a different one to what I've heard quite a few times. So I actually kind of like that idea. Drivable helicopters? No, 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 no. Um, and a countdown for the summer update like I did last year. Oh, that got 127. Definitely should do that. Um, right, we got some interesting ones here. I've seen a couple of these and I really like them. New MDT, so this is a MDT just CAD system. Um, I'm assuming they've made this. So it's got the one, this kind of the home page, you get everything wanted people, wanted vehicles, and actually, yeah, you can actually make it uh, like a public say, oh, announcements, I like that. And you can, you can add your own announcement. And then offices online. I think quite a lot of Roblox games, have, Roblox games have this, and I think this would be quite an easy feature for them to implement. Firearm discharge, um, really good actually. I love that. Then we've got the fuel to nozzle just to make it a bit more realistic. But for instant refuel, it wouldn't work anyway. So probably not. Maybe though. This I really like the grappler system, and then the gates that open and close. I've seen before as well, and I really like them. Um. Right. Oh, there's a oh, done. There's a grappler again. Uh, give us some information about the summer 2023 update. It's been a while since you posted about the recent information about the 2023 summer update. I wouldn't say it's something serious if it was a small few day gap, but two weeks is a little bit too much, in my opinion. And if you combine with the fact that the update is meant to be released from early to mid June, it may community question the development state of the update. So please be very appreciative appreciated to tell us what's going on and what we should expect in case it's currently possible and before I get any backlash I get it it can be difficult to, difficult to develop a game as complications happen and it's understandable if not everything can be done on time I know the developers are doing their best to bring us this update without any complications and I'm aware of uh, dating the receipt isn't the only responsibility in their lives but at least it would be fair to let the community know what's happening as this is one of the most expected and hyped updates of the year um yeah, I totally agree with this. Um, you know, there's a lot. Developers have a lot to do, but you know, info, I don't think the community would really hate on them. It's not one of those games, but I think you know they're gonna get more annoyed if they don't tell us what's going on. I think everyone would appreciate a bit of information, even if it's not information we want to hear. But we need to take it if they're behind. And to be honest with you, I think that was a great suggestion to end the video on. Um, hope to see you with more summer update videos very, very soon. Like, please like and subscribe if you did enjoy, as it helps out a lot. Join my Discord server, link in the description down below, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!